How do you do, fellow cool squid kids? <laughs> Platoon 2, woo! The hype don't stop and this game won't drop. It came out back in the distant year of 2017. Splatty Toon is a third person shooter where the goal is to ink up turf, play King of the Hill, take control of a tower, make some slam dunks, and party! This is easily one of the freaking coolest Nintendo series in the last couple of years. The gameplay is frantic, fun, and infinitely replayable. And not to mention its art style. Oh man, I am in love with this game's art style. The watercolor aesthetic of all the promotional art is spectacular. It has a delightful vibrance and energy to it. Ah yes, another fine addition to my collection. Not only is all the promotional stuff fantastic, but the game's actual visuals hold up pretty well. The hub Inkopolis is pretty small, all things considered, but it feels fully realized and it's packed to the brim with a lot of nice little touches. Inkopolis really does feel like what a world inhabited by teenage squid people would look like. That was a sentence. Now what does this game really offer? Well, the meat and potatoes of it comes from its multiplayer. There's your standard non-competitive turf war mode. If you're a bitch! <laughs> Once you get to level 10, you can put on your big boy okay. pants and suit up for ranked. The mode where your team always sucks, and if you lose, it's totally their fault. Ranked has the largest variety of modes, ranging from King of the Hill, moving a payload, capturing a fish-shaped bazooka, and getting clams. That was also a sentence. Each mode feels different, and while some are better than others, you're sure to have a good time. Especially if you have friends. I can speak that from personal experience. I got Splatoon 2 when it launched, and it was pretty fun playing the multiplayer, but it was kinda also just like meh for me. But when I actually got friends to play it, suddenly it became really freaking fun to play. The moral of the story is, don't be a loser like me. And if you're tired of getting your butts handed to you, there's a more co-op focused mode. Salmon Run. It's Call of Duty Zombies. You can collect salmon eggs, fight off some weird, freaky fish people, and it's pretty simple and pretty good. However, we can't be talking about Splatoon without Splatfest. Indecision, my worst nightmare, no! In the time old tradition of Splatfests, the overlords of Splatoon put people into two camps, people with good tastes and people with shit tastes. Being honest, 90% of the time, I just choose whichever side Pearl chooses, and I win. But with the newest Splatfest, I made a bad decision, and this is the reality I have to live with. Well, of course, the one time I didn't go with Pearl, I lost. I failed you! Well, gee, telling people their opinion sucks is cool and all, but, uh... I, I know I've used this gag before, but what if... What if you're a loser like me and you don't have friends? Let me tell you, Splatoon has your back! <coughs> loser! <coughs> if you take a little detour to the left... I know that character! You can see Marie, go chase her, and you end up in Octo Canyon. I think that this place is genuinely where I spent a majority of my playtime when the game first came out, since, you know, didn't have any friends. It's a pretty simple mode. You just platform, shoot, figure out some puzzles. Even though, like, on paper it sounds boring, I never really got bored. It's a fun story to play through. And because of Splatoon having such a strong core, it's a blast through and through. It's a pretty big improvement from the original Splatoon's Octo Valley, which was still good, but I didn't enjoy it nearly as much. You know, for a multiplayer game, the single player stuff in this game is really good. But wait, there's more! Your money, give it. For the low, low price of 20 bucks, you can get the Octo Expansion. Holy guacamole, extra cheese, and pepperoni, this mode is amazing. And I know it's only two years old, so I won't spoil it, but like, dude, this mode is sick. It is absolutely, bar none, one of my favorite parts of Splatoon 2. You take up the role of Agent 8, who is an Octoling trying to escape the underground transit system. Oh no. It's more the same from the single player campaign, but when I say there's more, there's a lot more. They expand on things, they explore new ideas, and it is really good. Like, honestly, just right now, go play it. I recommend it. More challenges, more variety, you name it, the Octo expansion probably has it. Want to play as an Octoling? Boom! Want to learn why Pearl's the best character? Well, have I got some news for you. And actually, that's the best part of the expansion. Pearl and Marina play a big part in it, unlike the original story, which I was a little disappointed to realize that they really didn't play a big role at all. Sure, you see Pearl and Marina bring you the news every day, but you never really got to see them in the story or know more about them. But the Octo expansion completely rectifies that. You get another backstory, and they'll narrate you through just about every level. And you also get to see their often hilarious and heartwarming chemistry together. It's a good time. Splatoon 2 honestly improves leaps and bounds over the original. It's crazy that in the short two years of Splatoon's existence, the game's quality is drastically different. While the original isn't bad per se, 
It has a lot of rough edges, especially when you compare it to Splatoon 2. Major props to the team behind Splatoon. They honestly deserve all the success they've been given. They've made something really great. Okay, okay, so you guys know me, but I need to talk about the music. So, something I've learned. There are two types of people. People who love Splatoon's music, and people who think it sounds like gurgling piss. You know what? I think they got a point, but this is some good sounding piss. Seriously, I really love this soundtrack, but I can totally understand why some people hate it. And from my experience, the people who usually tend not to like it are people who haven't played Splatoon all that much. It's definitely an odd genre of music, and it's a particular taste. It's a genre that just screams Splatoon. Take a listen. <laughs> And that's Splatoon 2. After the original success, this game is leaps and bounds better, and I recommend you totally go out and play this. From its rock solid gameplay, to its sense of style, I freaking love this game. Especially if you can get some buddies, you're gonna get hours of fun from this. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I got some piss gurgling to listen to. Woo! This is some good piss!